Good morning, it's Mark, top local lead generation. We're here with Mr. Bernie Pollock of Pollock Automotive. They're 14 time winners of best auto repair shop in Vancouver. How are you doing today, Bernie? Doing really well. So we're gonna talk about Subaru head gasket repairs. So I'll, over to you. <laughs> awesome, well Subaru head gaskets are something we do quite a lot at Pollock Automotive. And if you own a Subaru with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine, which most cars come with, you'll probably have to deal with the head gasket at some point in your time of owning the car. So let's uh, have a look at a few things. I'll explain why, where the head gaskets leak from and a few different issues about the head gaskets. You can kind of get a more of a sense of what goes on with these cars. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share an image uh, when it comes up. You can let me know when you see it, Mark. We there it is. Are we there? Perfect. Good. So that's a top view of a Subaru engine around a 2000, uh, 2000 model year Forester 2.5 liter engine. That's the top view. The intake manifold runs along the top. Those nice bright blue things are your spark plug wires. The, um, the alternator sits in the front. It's uh, the wire to the alternator has got that nice bright, bright red cap on it. Um, so that's basically the top of the engine. Now the head gaskets are down lower. Uh, kind of where those blue wires, they kind of lead off to the sides, those go towards the cylinder heads. So what happens typically with Subaru uh, cylinder heads, can you see that image, Mark, the, uh, with the- you See it now. The, the colored arrows, perfect. So this is the underside of the engine, kind of a close up view where the cylinder head gasket meets the engine. So the, the bright blue arrow, that, that actually points right to where the cylinder head gasket is located. And to the right of that is the cylinder head itself. Now the red arrow points to a, an oil leak and that is typically what happens with Subaru head gaskets, they leak oil. Sometimes they'll leak coolant as well. The cylinder head gasket is a very complex gasket. It seals the combustion pressures of the, of the uh, engine. It also seals oil and it seals coolant. So there's a lot going on and there's an extremely high temperature. So it, it, it works, the cylinder head gasket works really hard. Um, Anyway, so the, uh, the red arrow, that's the most important thing to look at. That's where the oil, that's an oil leak coming out of the cylinder head gaskets. Um, you know, typically they can start off very slowly and not much to worry about, but after a while they, they can become quite severe to the point of, you know, dripping a lot of oil on the ground. So moving on to our next image, this is the actual cylinder head gasket removed from an engine that had a leak. Um, the few arrows there point to various things. The red arrows all point to where the cylinder head bolt holes go. Uh, the very large holes in the middle as where the, the pistons basically sit in the valves, that's, that's the combustion chamber, the engine. The green arrows point to uh, coolant passageways, so antifreeze flows through those while the engine's running and that helps keep your engine cool from, and from overheating. And I only pointed a couple of those passageways out. And then the blue arrows point to usually where the problems with the head gaskets lie. And if you look on the left side, you can see all that black materials basically flaked off. Um, the way cylinder Subaru head gaskets are made, it's typically a metal gasket and then they have uh, some type of, uh, I wouldn't say it's rubberized, but it's, it's a type of coating and the coating, uh, you know, through the heat and cooling process, it did basically deteriorates after time and that's when it starts to leak oil. So typically those large passageways on the bottom will leak oil and that's basically oil is just returning back to the bottom of the engine. It's not under any pressure, but it's, it, you know, it leaks over time. So that's your head gasket uh, that you'll probably experience if you own a Subaru at some point. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like when it's old and taken apart. Um, just as a view of, this is what the cylinder head itself looks like from the inside of the engine. This, uh, this particular engine was at pretty high mileage and we, we actually had the, had the valves redone on this cylinder head because it, it had had, uh, there was a lot, of, if you look on the left, um, the left side there, those are the valves and the combustion chamber. You can see a lot of blackish thick deposit. And when you compare that to what you see on the right hand side, there's a lot of oil getting into that particular cylinder. So we had the heads, uh, the valves reground on this particular head and everything cleaned up. Um, normally we don't need to do that. There's a variety of things that need to be done on, on Subaru head gaskets. Uh, sometimes it's just a simple matter of changing the gaskets, the head bolts and, and it's done other times the work is a little more thorough. Um, okay, so the so moving on, so that's the cylinder head. Uh, just uh, another example, the, the, the items on the top, the two round pieces on the top, those are the exhaust valves, and then the larger ones below are the intake valves, and that round thing in the middle, that's your spark plug. The head gasket goes around, 
sits around, if you can imagine from the last picture, and I'll just click it on again so you can kind of have an idea. That's the head gasket. That's a cylinder head. You can see there's sort of a correlation between holes, and, and that's, uh, that's how it all works. Just another view of the top of the Subaru engine. This is with the intake manifold off. And uh, this is this is a job where we have the head, the new head gaskets in. We're putting it back together. So the red arrows point to where the intake manifold bolts on, and the the actual the red arrows will actually point to the cylinder heads themselves. The blue arrows point to the timing belt cover, and uh, that's a picture we'll go into in a second. I just also uh, want to reference the green arrow, which points to the that's a coolant pipe, uh, which. Basically, engine coolant flows through that pipe through the engine block. There's a couple of seals in there. We always replace them. Uh, they rarely leak, but while we're doing the head gaskets, it's a simple extra job. So those are some of the things that we do when we're in doing a cylinder head gasket job to make sure it's thorough. Uh, it's $6 for some gaskets and a couple of minutes of labor. So it's, it's well worth doing while everything's apart. So the other big component on a Subaru and that can be an expensive maintenance item is the timing belt. These generally last about 160,000 kilometers. You can probably push them a little longer. I wouldn't recommend it uh, because if it breaks, uh, pistons and valves collide and it costs a lot of money to fix. So it's best to do it at 160,000 kilometer interval. These, uh, I basically show all the components we, we normally change when we do the timing belt. The, the um, blue arrows point to idler pulleys. So the, the timing belt runs along these pulleys and these, there's bearings inside the pulley, so we always change them because they're worn. Um, you never know when they're going to fail, and it's best to make sure they're all new. The green arrow points to the hydraulic tensioning unit. Now, it also has a pulley that can wear, but it has a, it, an oil-filled, high-pressure tensioning unit, and it's critical that that keeps proper pressure on the timing belt. The uh, light blue arrow points to the water pump. Again, we replace these when we do the timing belt because it's, A, driven by the timing belt, and if the bearing were to fail, then it would damage the timing belt and, and cause the whole thing to break apart. Plus, the water pump can leak. So it's best to change it when the timing belt is due. And the last black arrow points to, uh, I'm not sure if that's a crankshaft or camshaft seal, but uh, those that, there's two camshaft seals and a crankshaft seal. We always replace those when we do the uh, timing belt. So just kind of getting back to... Uh, you know, just, a, I guess a question you may have in your mind is, well, what if I take really good care of my car, can I prevent the timing belt, or sorry, can I prevent the head gaskets from leaking? I mean, the timing belt's a given. It needs to be done at 160,000 kilometers, no matter how you drive. Um, can I prevent head gaskets from failing? And the answer is, unfortunately, no. It's just a design, def maybe we'll call it a defect, but just the design of the Subaru engine uh, will typically cause, the head gaskets will fail and you need to replace them. So that's hopefully uh, gives you some ideas of what uh, is involved with the head gaskets on a Subaru. Uh, as I said, we do a lot of them at Pollock Automotive. We've got some pretty good expertise on doing them. If you ever have any questions, you can always reach us at 604-327-7112. Anything further to add, Mark? No, thanks, Bernie. Very thorough. Lots of uh, detail on how um, or why it it takes so much time why it's uh, a big job to change the head gaskets on a Subaru and possibly even why you can see <clears throat> where the bolts are and where they aren't so maybe that's the reason why they fail so we've been talking with Mr. Bernie Pollock of Pollock Automotive you can uh, learn more at pollockautomotive.com or to book your next appointment give them a call <clears throat> excuse me 327-604-327-7112 thanks Bernie Thanks, Mark. Talk to you again.